I have social anxiety. It's not something I've spoken about to many people, and honestly it's something I've hidden quite well throughout my life, so talking about it here seems all the more awkward and difficult. So why am I talking about it now? To be frank on the one hand it's something I've generally kept hidden from others, but today it's something I've come to realise that I can share about in the small hope that someone out there might be able to learn from my experience. Knowing that social anxiety isn't something to be ashamed of and knowing others struggle with it just as I have would have been a great help for me growing up, and so I feel it's only right I try and support others by reflecting on my own challenges. However, I also want to offer some tips which I found have helped me significantly, and I'll try to explain why this is. Though if you're struggling with social anxiety please don't hesitate to seek out help from loved ones or a professional, it's okay if you're struggling with it, and one thing I've learnt is that it doesn't reflect negatively on you as an individual. In fact, for me it's something I've not only accepted about myself, but rather something I've come to take pride in as it's something I've made significant progress on over the years. When I reflect back to my earliest experience with social anxiety, I remember I was really young at a cousin's wedding, where I spent the whole evening complaining to my mum that I wanted to just go home. I remember being surrounded with a lack of space, the music was blaring out and so my senses overwhelmed, and there wasn't anywhere for me to go given I was too young to leave and find a quiet place. The sensations of overwhelm left me emotionally and as a result, even physically drained and upset. The reason is that social anxiety stems from a fear of being judged in social situations, which can consequently lead to numerous thoughts in your head about how you perceive a given circumstance. For me, in that experience as a child, I was in a loud environment with hundreds of people around me. On top of this I felt pressured to dance, which further impacted me especially knowing that people were just sitting there watching others on the dance floor. Let's just say, it's not a night I remember fondly. The thing is, over the years I've learnt methods which have helped me cope with my anxiety, and while there are times it can still take a hold of me on occasion, for the most part it's something I feel I've learnt to control thanks to developing a growth mindset, and accepting that with work it's something I can improve. So I apply some fairly simple and productive tips, which first begins with shifting focus. Part of the reason social anxiety had such a big grip on me when younger was due to what I focused on. If we look at my experience of needing to dance at a wedding, the anxiety stemmed from my insecurities of being forced to dance in front of people, and how they would view me. The other factor that contributed to the feelings of anxiety was the environment, as it was loud and with a lot of people. For me, it was overwhelming thinking about how people might judge me if I make a fool of myself. Simply put, my self and environmental focus was deeply contributing to my anxiety. So I developed techniques to shift focus away from the self and environmental focus, and instead develop a task orientated focus. This means focusing on a particular task in that moment, and being present in your current reality. A simple but effective way I've learned to do this is focus on a conversation I'm having with an individual, especially in an anxiety inducing environment, and during this time concentrate on the topic of discussion. This is known as attention training. Not only does this help narrow down my focus to a singular activity, but equally helps me engage in more interesting and meaningful conversation, meaning for a better experience for me and the person I'm talking to. However, in addition to focus I try to control my physiology, using breathing techniques. Using breathing techniques can help control your state of mind and can be incredibly powerful, and a lot of research has shown this. Today, when I know I'm faced with a situation that can impact my anxiety, I spend time beforehand controlling my breathing patterns. It's usually a simple practice of breathing in deep into my belly, I generally recommend doing this through the nose due to its health benefits, and then holding my breath in for a short period before slowly exhaling. For me, this is extremely valuable to use in social situations too, because if I'm not in control at any point, I know I can usually excuse myself for a minute or two to go find a quiet space to just practice my breathing. And again, this helps because during this time I am task focused, concentrating on my breathing instead of the environment around me. The last tip I've found to be extremely beneficial for me is to have objective thinking. What I've found is that the reason I struggle with social anxiety is that I get caught up in my own thoughts about how others perceive me. Questions like do they like me, do they find me boring, 
or am I embarrassing myself are frequent and have led to many insecurities over the years. The problem is I've come to realise that these thoughts are in my head and not the reality of what people think. In fact, close friends of mine thought I was quite extroverted in character because of the way I converse with them, and others thought I'm actually quite confident. Not true, certainly in the past. The point is that what I think doesn't marry up to reality, and so I've had to teach myself to reflect on experiences with an objective view after they have taken place. This is a process of detaching myself as best as I can from my emotions, and spending time to think through or write down what I know as fact. In almost every case, I've come to the conclusion that there is no hard evidence to support my fears. Honestly, reflecting on my social anxiety has been hard here, but my hope is that someone out there can learn from my experience and get value from the tips offered. It's not something I'll say has gone away completely, but today I feel confident I won't have a breakdown, just as I did as a kid, when at the wedding.